What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Same Spirit Gaming. My name's Matt. And I'm Jordan. And we're playing some more Planet Alpha. Oh, hello. Something happened there. Oh, jeez. I'm supposed to be running here, aren't I? Maybe? That was close. Man, those are nice reflections. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. I'm gonna wait for that so I don't get crushed by it. Hold up, can I crouch down into this little thing? Kind of, but not really. I was hoping I'd find another secret. Yeah. Yeah, those secrets are cool. Get teleported into space. This looks like it should be something. But it's not obvious what it would be. <laughs> it's hard to tell in this game sometimes. <laughs> Okay, more moving platforms. So I, while we've been going back and forth with this game a little bit, I actually played Inside. I think you had mentioned it's kind of like Inside. Oh yeah. So, so now I know what you're talking about. It is, yeah, very similar to Inside, except Inside uh, is a little bit grotesque and also black and white, whereas this game it's very colorful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's got to be something I'm supposed to... Uh, okay. Nice. I'm like... I've... There's got to be something with jumping on these platforms. Ah, uh, but... <laughs> oh. It's... It's... Very much a timing issue. Because <laughs> they move in and out pretty quick. Yeah. Hit. Hit. Okay. It's the rest point. <laughs> Hip. Hip. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I don't know what the purpose of these would be. Like, I'm trying to think, <laughs> like, in-universe, what, <laughs> what exactly these yeah. are. I'm also trying to figure out where to go from here. Oh, wait, there's some vines on the side. Maybe that's... Yeah. Probably climb. Yeah. Maybe, like... What, am I supposed well, to go down or up? Yeah. <laughs> Zoomed into that. Oh, there's probably a secret up there. Okay. okay. I don't... Hmm. I don't know how I might go up, though, is the problem. Yeah. Yeah, no. That doesn't seem like a viable option. <laughs> yeah. You'd probably just go down. Nick. Okay. Dude's yeah. got some pretty good arm strength being able to hang on like this for so long. No kidding. <laughs> okay. I feel like I am is. studying these yeah. every time. Nice. Now are they going to go back in? Okay, yes, but they were out quite a while, so I don't think <laughs> I have to worry too much about that. Oh, that's why. Because there's a second... Oh, there's another, like, diamond symbol thingy. What is that? I forgot. What does that do? You can control the... I honestly... Um, Don't even know if it does much of anything in particular. <laughs> it strikes me as just sort of like a progress marker. <laughs> Seems like there should be something over to the left here, but I don't know if I want to test that out. Yeah. It did just save though, so... Uh, nope. That means you're doing the right stuff. <laughs> Why did 
to bring me back here. Oh well. I'll just continue upward. Yeah. Upward and onward. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention. We're, we left things off last time with like that one sort of rock puzzle where it was like you had to move it in and out. Oh, okay. It turns out you could just jump onto the rock that extended out and then do the thing to retract it. Oh, all right, Which all right. didn't really make any logical sense to me because it's like, how are you supposed to assume that that's going to happen? There's like <laughs> nowhere else in the game to this point where your powers just continue with you as you leave, you know, one of these magical spaces. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of platforms. You're controlling the light and the platform. Again, it seems like it's supposed to be some sort of like, I don't know, time warping thing-ish. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing and I don't know how he's even I, if I'm understanding correctly, he's not from this planet, so it's right. A confusing. He just like he crash landed that. here. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. Uh, nope. Ah. Uh, there's not really any way to get on top of anything so well other than like right here oh yeah okay so it's not just a timing thing okay the broken ones are all stuck in place yeah Hup. nice uh i'm gonna assume further to the left Oh yeah, this is looking good. All right, got some Oscar statues there. <laughs> More climbing. <laughs> Open the golden gate. With your mind. Friggin' like Jedi Force powers. <laughs> you will open this door. Use the Force, spindly man. Oh, hello. Okay, well, jump up on here. Usually, in a lot of games, broken stuff is what you want to avoid. Yeah. But it's like the opposite in this case. Because these functioning... I, I, again, I don't know what the in-universe... Like, what in-universes are supposed to be. <laughs> but... Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Kind of quick getting through some of these. <laughs> okay, it I guess I just jump over them. here. They, they kind of look like if you look at them too long, it looks like Kit Kat bars. <laughs> <laughs> now I want some chocolate. <laughs> like if Kit Kat did something like the Golden Oreos or whatever. Yeah. Ah, crud. No. Great. Uh, look, I gotta I'm redo some stuff ready. now. <laughs> yeah. Might have been better if you hadn't survived. Although I don't know where you, the last save was. Yeah. Well, while I work my way back. Yeah, let's uh, let's bring out the big 
B, big Bible. <laughs> uh, okay, so the, this is from Second uh, Chronicles, chapter seven, verse fourteen. Um, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will hear their land is that supposed to be so, heal their land it sounded like you said hear sorry if I said hear that's <laughs> heal Yeah, I think it's, uh, so this is obviously God speaking about the uh, people of Israel who multiple times uh, turned towards God and then away from God and back and forth and back and forth <laughs> to God and away. And the kingdom of Israel split. And I'm not, like, I don't know how familiar people are with the <clears throat> Older Testament um or Old Testament books, because for a long time, I hadn't even read them, and it's only this year that I actually dove into it a little bit more, and I had no idea that, like, the Kingdom of Israel was an actual kingdom, and now I can look at the map and say, oh, okay, so it was split here, and <laughs> there was civil war, and one half was just completely turned away, and the other half, oh... <laughs> Oh, right. okay. Oh, nice. Put me, like, right back there. Um, so, anyway. Where's to go from here, though? The context. Um, and so, uh, every time uh, the people of Israel uh, were doing what God wanted for them, they would be blessed and he would, uh, he, he really would take care of them, and um, I think it's a good kind of macrocosm, I guess, for our own lives, in that you're not necessarily going to have a completely blessed life if you live as a perfect Christian, of course, um, and you may even be persecuted for that, but... You will receive blessings in this life, and even way more in the next life. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to do here? Okay. <laughs> I think the people of Israel, the story, um, their story is oh, there we go. really similar to our own individual stories, at least think now that i've read that i just thought it was interesting like we turn away we come back we turn away we come back we're split within ourselves <clears throat> uh, many times fighting with ourselves to do the right thing seems like i'm supposed to get through here but i don't know anyway um but yeah <laughs> the what you just described about you know the israelites turning to God and then away from God and just back and forth over and over again. That's like the general summary of the entire book of Judges. Yep. Yeah, it is. It's like, okay, things go well. They feel like they don't need God, so they turn to other things. They fall <laughs> away from God. Things go poorly because they disobeyed God. Then they cry out for help because they're in a bad spot. He sends somebody to rescue them. They turn back to him and then <laughs> repeat the yeah. cycle. And Kings. That's basically the, the book of Kings. And it may sound like we are repeating ourselves a lot, but you read those books and <laughs> Israelites repeat themselves way more than we are. <laughs> um, they are, I mean, uh, listening to those books being read, uh, it can get a little repetitive, but it also just helps um, really emphasize the meaning behind, like, like I was saying, how it's a macrocosm for us, um, basically. 
This is really cool. I I don't know how they do those reflections so well everywhere, <laughs> like the water reflecting up there, and then uh, in the previous section it looked really cool too. Okay, but what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> is this another area you can control something? I I tried to do that. Okay. It didn't seem like it was helping. Oh, hello. Just had to press X. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, the crouch button, it makes perfect yeah. sense. Which also seems to be the button to like activate all the things throughout the game now that I think about it. That, uh, oh, the Oscar statues, woo! Yeah, in inside you just automatically crouched, there was no crouch button, so. That's interesting. I don't think I can recommend that game, by the way. <laughs> it's a very interesting game, but, uh, yeah, a little bit, uh... Yeah. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's on the simpler side of things, but there is a reason that it's rated M. Yeah, yeah. Dang, what is happening? <laughs> I'm, I'm... Ascending into the sky. It's... <laughs> and exploding, maybe. Beams converging on this thing, and... Is this gonna, like, create another portal kind of thingamajig, day or...? Day night, day night. Yeah. Did you beat the game? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't... Think so. Man, I should have picked a different verse and just read it during this part. <laughs> about more about heaven. Oh, okay, there you go. Nice. So we had also talked before about you know some of God's words being you know kind of prophetic regarding his people and the fact that they would turn away from him and then they'd be exiled and then eventually after so much resistance and turning away and then getting in such a bad spot eventually they would turn back yeah i mean turns out that that applies maybe not quite the exile part but <laughs> the the turning away and turning back applies Many multiple times over. <laughs> yes, definitely. Wow, this is cool. This game really knows how to change environments and keep it interesting. Oh, so you can control those too. Well, I, so I moved time or whatever a little bit, and then the flame here activated. Ah. Doesn't the flame mean there's a secret? Uh, I don't know. Not but... so sure anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Dare I? Uh, eh, why not? Nope. <laughs> pretty, pretty quick to respawn. <laughs> if death had any more consequence than just, oh, hey, you gotta start over from not too long ago, <laughs> I'd be more hesitant. Yeah, uh, but... See, now I'm on the lookout for secrets all over the place. Yeah. But they're hard to find sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was just about to say, well, at least this seems a lot more peaceful <laughs> than, uh, you know, down on the ground level, but um, it's about to not be so peaceful. I like the electric antennas. <laughs> Ouch. Dang. So, I guess this is kind of debatably a boss fight? Oh, yeah. jeez. Okay. So, like, I gotta stay hidden so the lasers don't get me. 
But then when he does the claw thing, I gotta move away from that. I gotta assume the, uh, you know, time manipulate. Oh, hold up. Was I supposed to get him to break that? Was that the thing? Okay, so now he moves over this way. Aha! <laughs> the arm has been broken. I'm just gonna watch out for the zappy laser eyes. <laughs> ah, and it still oh. was... I thought it was done at that point. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Now he's coming at me from the foreground with the zappy laser eyes. <laughs> it's a little bit harder to manage because... Oh, okay. Yeah, where am I supposed... The, like, the perspective makes it really awkward trying to find a spot to hide. Is this... Does this work? Okay. Seems like it. How about here? Oh, he can only shoot for a certain amount. Oh, okay, he can destroy that rock with the laser eyes, though. Why some and not others? <laughs> Run. Maybe here. Nope, he can destroy that, too, but... Okay. Can't... Jump up there. What do I do? But yeah, how do you get past that? Unless I gotta do more timey wimey stuff. Oh, maybe that was it. Trial and error. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, jeez, I need it to be, like, nighttime for... Oh, come on, I jumped on top of that. <laughs> come on. There we go. So I need it to be nighttime in this section. So that blocks the way. But then, as I move over here... I... I was behind the rock, I thought. <laughs> Can you smack him with that thing when you get over there? That's kind of what I was hoping for, but... It's just getting over there. I think you can hide behind that pillar for a little bit. Yeah. Maybe this is where... Yeah! Oh, but it also uh, hit me. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is definitely a unique oh. boss fight. <laughs> but I guess I guess he's just gone now. Oh, all right. Save the... He does not respawn. <laughs> even though I do. Maybe the respawning is more time manipulation powers. <laughs> The, the the true best power in any video game. Respawn. <laughs> You're alive. The fall damage didn't kill you. Okay. You know I want to see if there's something over here. Yeah. But can't get anywhere past that. Well, this might be a good point to leave it to the next episode. All right. <laughs> we escaped the robot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a huge, like, objective done. 
that we didn't even know existed. We got a robot. <laughs> all right. Thanks all for watching, and we will see what happens next in Planet Alpha in the next episode. Bye, everybody. Bye.